Hi folks, Mark here once again, bringing you my first impressions video on Vampire. I've just started streaming this over on Twitch, and of course I'm uploading the episodes to YouTube as well, so check the links down below if you'd like to come and watch me. And this is what I think of it so far. Vampire is set in London post-World War I, I think, and there seems to be all sorts of epidemics. There's the Spanish flu, and there's also an epidemic of vampirism, which seems to have come out from nowhere. You play as Dr. John Reed, who kind of wakes up one day to find he's got two big bite marks in his neck, and he's a vampire. And he doesn't know what the hell is going on, how he got like that, or what he's going to do about it. I mean, should he try and embrace it? Should he try and fight it, find a cure, or just, you know, work out how to deal with it? And that is where we come in as the player. So you're literally thrown into this position and it's up to you to investigate what the hell is going on. You've got to try and retrace your steps initially as to how you ended up like this. And you've also got to deal with the condition as well. Do you fully embrace it and become one with your dark side and all the powers and benefits that brings? Or shall we try and fight it and play the good doctor and try and well work out just how we deal with that? And why is vampirism on the rise all over London? I mean, there are gangs of vampire hunters out trying to kill you. Uh, there's also what seems to be an established order of vampires as well. But I'm only a few hours into the game and I don't know much more about this. But the story is very intriguing and drawing me on. And I'm definitely going to play this through to the end. One of the coolest things I like about the game so far is that you level up your vampiric powers by biting victims and drinking their blood. Now, some victims are worth a lot more experience in this regards than others. And of course, they are tougher to crack in the first place. You've got to mesmerize them to be able to go and drink their blood. And you can find out more about them, unlock some more of their story, and in doing so, they become worth even more XP. Now, there are consequences to killing and eating people. I had, at the start of the game when I went into this, thought, yeah, I'm just going to eat everyone I come across. But, having played it for a few hours, it's one that really tugs on your conscience. And I just don't know where I'm going to go with this. Yes, I want to level up those vampiric powers. Yes, I want to eat people. Um, but at the same time, I find myself pulling back from some of these decisions because I quite like the characters or I feel sorry for them or I'm just worrying what the consequences are going to be. I don't know where I'm going to go in this game. I definitely want to draw more on the vampiric side and become an all-powerful vampire but at the same time I just don't know how to go about it yet and I quite like this about the game. I like the fact that it's making me think like this and the decisions are not all too easy and obvious. The combat so far seems really fun, with a mix of ranged melee weapons, which they kind of play out in quite good style. Also, you've got your vampiric powers, and those are the ones I want to level up. You've got, like, uh, really enhanced speed and really enhanced strength and big claws, and you can bite people, and that's making the combat really fun. And fighting other vampires is a lot harder than I thought. But it seems pretty good so far. But as for the characters... Do I eat him? Do I save him? Do I play the good doctor? Do I go with my conscience? Or do I just go all out for the all-you-can-eat buffet and see where it takes us? I don't know. So do come and watch me either on Twitch or watch the VODs as I put them up over on my second YouTube channel. Links down below. And tell me what you think I should be doing. Anyway, naturally, I will bring you my final thoughts video on this when I've finished it and let you know whether I think it's a great game or not by then, because my opinion might have changed by the time I've played through the entire story. But until then, just let me know what you think of this one so far in the comments, and I'll look forward to playing some more of this and maybe seeing some of you guys there as I'm streaming it live. All right, folks, thanks for watching. And of course, I'll catch you again on the next one.